this game. Do you believe your friends will understand why you summoned a forbidden behemoth? Will they tell on you to the coven? Had you discovered through your fortune telling that a fellow witch had broken this same rule? You would have reported her, wouldn't you? Damn, what? I ain't no snitch. Don't put that on me. Ready for more? Yep. How have you found the ceremony so far? Do you want to review any elements before continuing? Hmm, I don't think so. It's pretty basic stuff. Understood. What's the matter? You're not as chipper as usual. Mm, yes, I'm sorry. Fire is usually my favorite lesson, and it marks the final step before our contract becomes effective, which I'm looking forward to. But... I have a bad feeling about this. That's odd, based on your acting all so far. I thought you enjoyed the threat of dire consequences. Oh, of course I do. That kind of adrenaline is my favorite thing in the cosmos. What is it, then? Look, you're right. Better stop dwelling on silly worries and focus on our training. I'm just moody for some reason. It's not silly. Why do you say we look into it with our cards after we finish today's session? That might be a good idea. That's one of the perks of being summoned by a fortune teller. <laughs> so true. You're on. It'll be a good challenge as the final test for this new deck. That's the Abramar I know. I need you to- I need you sharp for the final lesson. Fire it is, then. This element is usually feared by most and yearned for by those with ill will. But fire is more versatile than most magic practitioners think it is. Fire represents adversity, battle, everything that is against you. Fire is challenge, intimidation, and the fuel of every battle. Fire is your wrath. Fire is... Conflict. Exactly. But don't just dwell on the negative aspects of that definition. Conflict also means growth. The only time fire is bad is when you're on the losing side. And even in defeat, there's a great deal of growth. We're the living example of that. <laughs> Master your fire, and you'll conquer anything that the cosmos throws at you. To tell you the truth, I'm more intimidated by water. I'm actually quite fond of fire. <laughs> Maybe that's why we get along so well. Now, the final contract. This answer will affect your fate profoundly. For the fire seal, what will you sacrifice to access my magic? Oh, absolutely fucking lutely not. Um, fuck immortality. I don't want to live forever anyways. My, immortal my immortality. Oh, wow, are you sure about that? You'll live a maximum of another 60 years after you pay the price. Plus, you won't be able to live in space anymore. You'll have to go down to Earth and live among humans. Do you want to reconsider? I mean... The other options were, um, whoever I fucking love the most, and my coven? So, unless it's the coven that fucking betrayed me, this is all people that I care about, presumably. I- this is my fucking final answer, bro. No, this is my final answer. As you wish. I'll etch your decision into the cosmic wheel and pray it doesn't break you apart when the time comes to pay the price. Brace yourself. Ugh. I can't breathe. Ugh. The pain, it burns. It's breaking my atoms apart. I fucking love it. <laughs> Help. Fortuna. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh hell yeah. Uh 
I love this. I love this so much. Damn. Wake up. Fortuna, wake up. What? What happened? It was like an intro. It was really cool. <laughs> Sorry, I had to wake you up. You've been asleep for a couple of days. You dropped dead after we sealed the fire contract. Thought it might be too much, so I let you rest. I feel dizzy. I had the weirdest dreams. Oh yeah? What about? Can't remember, but it felt premonitory. Monitory. I feel bad for waking you up, but you have some business to attend to. What? What do you mean? Look at the window. You've got a visitor. That falcon. That's a familiar from an arbiter. What's an arbiter? The arbitrage of office is an organism composed of former witches, unaffiliated with any coven that ensures no witches operating outside the laws of the Magical Pact. They also rule over conflicts between different covens and rarely interfere with internal affairs. It was founded about 4,000 years ago, so it makes sense you don't know them? Yeah, this happened during my slumber. Why were they created? Well, both the Arbiters and the Magical Pact were created after an especially bloody witch war that Ended with our coven burning 87 witches inside of a white star. Jesus. Brutal. To avoid future atrocities, some witches vowed to stop using magic and focus exclusively on keeping the peace. In the beginning, it was a group of devotees who wanted to avoid tragedy, but nowadays it's mainly composed of outcasts that have to serve the arbitrage office as a... Uh, Lifelong punishment. Wow, things have gotten a lot bleaker since I was last put to sleep. This all happened before my time, but I'm more afraid of having witch wars than witch cops. And what do you think the Arbiter wants? Maybe they noticed I summoned you? That's impossible, my arts are untraceable. Then there's only one way to find out. Let's invite her over. Sure, I'll make myself invisible whenever you get a visit. Also, you have some energy pulled from sealing the fire contract, in case you want to expand your deck before inviting the Arbiter over. Oh, okay. Plus, I still owe you a reading, right? Uh, don't worry about it. There will be time for that. Okay, okay, but you're not off the hook. We'll look into what worries you, eventually. As if I could escape you. Who oh boy. We can check our visitor, but I want to make a card first. Because I have a feeling that as soon as we talk to our little visitor, it's going to have us do a reading. But I want to make a card. Magical cemetery for the witches who dared to tamper with time. Quicksand absorbs the bodies and turns their souls into heat. Oof. Home of Dahlia, the Daggersmith Witch, the white sands of this dominion are cursed. Earth sediments wake up and transform into bone demons. Dahlia hunts them and uses their bodies and innards to craft ceremonial knives. War is meaningless. Oops. One of the largest known stars, the Forbidden Behemoth, was once imprisoned at the core of this red hypergiant. A city of blacksmiths built inside the skeleton of a titanic behemoth. Bone marrow of the fallen beast burns for eons, so their forges are always alight. Many millennia ago, before witches cracked the cosmic code to manipulate matter, they built a factory under the crust of Venus. It was operated by my iron golems and allowed many human covens to expand beyond the solar system. Hmm, those are my only options. Oh man. 
I'm not really not really particularly drawn to any of them. Uh, mm, you know, let's go with this one. And then, ooh, I like that. Got us in love with a sidereal snake, ever burning passion that shatters the fabric of the world. Wild. Absolutely wild. Oh. Fairy that offers her services as a dominatrix for sorcerers. A sorceress is lost and lost. When a witch draws her power from passion, she can reach a point at which her libido takes control. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Their an, an extense. Extense? Sure. Erotic repertoire of the Duchess of Solace has never failed to exhaust a lustful witch and return her to normal. Although humanity has a long history of witch burning, they have never managed to burn a real witch. Hmm. Oh wait, this one takes a little of everything, jeez. <gasps> oh, it's a little mouse! Considered puny cowards, these witches know there's nothing braver than to charge onto a battlefield with a cloth instead of a sword. Last coyote gunslinger out to hunt down the scions of the purple blood behemoth throughout the vast cosmos. She feeds on their blood and extends her life to prolong her never ending vengeance. <laughs> nice. Ooh, oh, moths! He knows that time is a sea and not a line. He's on a quest to make the universe equal and just for every life form. Duna arrive. Heroes don't protect the people, but ideals, a symbol of resilience and sacrifice. They can only be killed by corruption. Hmm. I love these little moths. But I also really like this one. Let's pick this one. Aw, oh, man, I'm out of Earth energy. Well, shit. Ooh! Asteroids are astral bodies with a destination. When an asteroid is born, it's written at its, in its core where and when it'll crash. They bring fire and change. Unnatural crimson flames enlighten the dark paths of the mind. They shed light over hidden courage, but also rage. Uh, any more fire ones? Oh. Popular tool among witch summoners to tame fire elementals. Spirits do not submit because of the pain, but because of the pleasure. <laughs> Blades made out of demon bones that can light on fire if you whisper the name of the beast they came from. Ooh, eyes for the night, pain for the wraith. What? This is really interesting. Also, I love how goofy this one looks. <laughs> Summonable flock of legendary prey birds that can deliver any message, hunt any fugitive, and steal any trinket. Nice. And then there's just a straight up witch rifle. Witches that specialize in hunting magical beasts often turn their wands into rifles. These weapons are able to shoot any magic spell sealed inside a sapphire bullet. Hmm. Where'd my music go, by the way? I liked the, the chill card building music. I'm sad that it's gone. Um, let's do this one. Oh, you're really not going to give me back my music, huh? That's a ding ding shame. Um, where do I want to put this? I want it over here, actually. Make you smaller. Oh god, not that small. Mm -hmm. Yeah, put it like that. Put this. Like this. Put this down here. Oh, you gotta go forward. Go up. There you go. Nope, nope, nope. 
There we go. Wait. Hmm. Still not quite right. Here we go. Um, I could give you another arm. Whoops. Oh dear. Hmm. I feel like I'm not getting the proportion on this right. But even then, like, like that? Sure. Hmm, do I want any of this other stuff? Do we want some little sparklies? I love me some sparklies. Sure. And then we'll put a little star here. Just a little one. Oh god, I can't make it smaller. No. No. No! Let me make it smaller. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, there we go. Great. Wonderful. I just wanted a little teeny one. Cool. This, this isn't how I want it. Wait, is this? Where did this come from? <laughs> hmm. Oops. Maybe like a little, little trailing one. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Sure. I don't know, man. I'm feeling lonely without the music. <laughs> Gotta get me out of here, because I need music back. Bone marrow of the behemoth sears thought. Pain of a thousand wounds. The asteroid foretells imminent tragedy. The overstimulated fire energy becomes a cleansing power. Death and rebirth. Sabotage, adversity, rivalry, tragedy, change, rebirth. Ugh, what a fascinating card. Okie dokie. I done. I coming over here. I really hope my music comes back. Because it's incredibly lonely without it. Oh. What? in the world is happening on your face? Dear Fortuna, my name is Thea and I write to you from the arbitrage office. Your personal situation caught the attention of my superiors who tasked me with reviewing your case. I'd like to interview you regarding your exile and write a plea on your to your coven's leader to revisit your case if we judge the punishment to be excessive. Yours faithfully, Thea, badge 210. Rank Waxing Crescent. Okay. Oh good, you did come with music. Uh, thanks for having me. My name is Thea, Arbiter Badge 210. Thank you for coming, Arbiter. Oh, that's me. Thanks for coming, Arbiter. Really appreciate the office paying attention to my case. I've been isolated for 200 years so far. That's precisely why I'm here. The Arbitrage Office recently discovered your situation, and we're worried it may go awry for the community. Excessive punishments beget rancor, and a thousand-year-long exile, that's the perfect recipe to build up a lot of bad blood. And we all know what a witch can do with a surplus of bad blood. But I'm here to help you. Let me know about your case, and we'll look for a way to make you feel better. Thanks. I already had a meeting with Adana, the leader of your witch clan. Adana told me that you predicted the fall of your coven. 
she explained to me that she didn't punish you for that, though. She punished you because of how you handled it. Apparently, you plunged the coven into chaos, giving ill advice to any witch, telling them to prepare for the end times. And those actions almost destroyed the coven before its time. So she decided to exile you and deprive you of your deck so you can meditate on the range and meaning of your powers. Now that's the official version, I'm interested in what you have to say. Do you think what you did was wrong? <sighs> I mean... Not really. Hmm. The people deserve to know. A premonition that grave should be disclosed to the community. You don't agree with your leader's judgment. That's not dangerous, per se, but it's a bad ingredient to add to the pot of imprisonment. What would you have done then, if the end were nigh, what you'd like to know, right? I shouldn't give my opinion. I have to act as a neutral party, Fortuna. Next question. Do you think your punishment is fair? <laughs> Why? Absolutely not. Way too excessive. I understand. Hardly anyone would accept this kind of sentence. How are you coping with centuries of isolation? It's... It's pretty bad. If anything, at first it might have been easy. Like, I feel like the the reverse of this would be true. But... It's pretty bad. Can you help me? Oh no! We need to fix your situation. Top priority. Thanks. I think we can at least alleviate your sentence somehow. I still don't understand why Adana deprived you of your tarot deck. I mean, if you're isolated, what does she care if you have your magic or not? That's something I'm supposed to reflect on while exiled. It's a pity, because I'd have loved to have my fortune read. Anyway, before I leave, as an arbiter, I'm obliged to ask. Anything to confess? The... Actually, I am crafting a new deck for divination. Oh, wow. That's bold. But I don't think what you're doing is illegal. Adana took your tarot deck from you, but she doesn't have authority over your new creations. Yet. I'm sure we she won't be happy to hear it, though. You don't need to report to Adana, right? I trust in the office's neutrality. Of course, unless you break the magical pact or it becomes relevant during a trial, we won't disclose sensitive information from our investigation. In any case, what I'm crafting isn't even a tarot deck, it's something new. Oh, really? Can... can I see it? Would you like a reading? <clears throat> As an arbiter, it's my duty to make sure that your new project doesn't break the magical pact, so... I would love a reading very much, yes please. <laughs> It'll be my pleasure. Is there something you want to ask the deck? Hmm, I want to know what's in the future regarding my career as an arbiter. Very well. I'm gonna draw two cards for you. The first one to look for opportunities and good omens. And the second one to warn you about possible challenges or adversities. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's scary. Uh, would you prefer not to know? Uh, no, no, please go ahead. Okie dokie, here we go. <gasps> Chambers of the opera, opera House make only resonate. See, knowledge. Guide, discovery, justice, predestination, luck. I mean, <laughs> that sounds on brand. Make a very important rest. It'll be someone from my coven. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
going to play a crucial role in future politics within the witch community. Interesting. Hmm. I think we'll go with this one. You're going to play a crucial role in future politics within the witch community. What? I shouldn't. We Arbiters are a neutral party. I mean, maybe it's something that falls into your line of duty? Maybe your splendid job as an Arbiter puts something misshapen back on track? Ah, that's great to hear. This is all speculation at this point, but what the cards let me see clearly is that it's specifically you who will play a crucial role in the future. Oh, the pressure. Okay, okay. I'm looking forward to it. Aw, oh, shit. I was afraid that we were going to draw this one for, <laughs> for the bad. <laughs> Oops. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Well. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. These are all bad. Oh, no. Holy shit. Okay, well, I don't want to say that you're about to kill somebody out here. But I guess war and combat means that you might kill a lot of people. <sighs> girl, girl, I don't... <laughs> well, I see war. You'll be sent into combat. What? What do you mean war? I can see a high-scale conflict that will require Arbiters to go into battle. Oh my god, but that's huge! I have to warn everyone! No, wait. Don't do that. I have experience in ringing the catastrophe bells and it really doesn't bring any good. But I can't just do nothing about it. Let the higher-ups know and no one else. And keep my name off the record if you can. Uh, okay. I don't know if I'll be able to do that, but I'll protect my source as much as I can, I promise. Thanks. Oh my. War? Okay, I'll protect you all. That is our duty. Thanks. Sorry, also. Well, what do you think of my new deck? It's pretty fucking vicious. Mm. Oh god. What? What? Huh? What? Huh? What? Oh no, does that mean I failed? At my I want to be adored? Oh. What? <laughs> well, now I'm confused. That was amazing! And uh, a bit scary, but mostly amazing. Thanks. Your gift could be a very valuable asset for our office. It's a crime that you're imprisoned here. Well, <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't position myself in such matters. At least not that strongly. <laughs> But in any case, in a, it's an objective truth that your skills are wasted on this forsaken rock. Now, as an arbiter, I can't simply overrule it on a sentence, but I'm gonna lift the ban on visitation. Whoa, can you really do that? I just requested a permit from the main office. It'll become effective as soon as my arbiter's notebook gets updated with a moon stamp. Arbitrage forms are updated in the Master Grimoire as soon as my pen touches the paper. All of what I've written so far is already in the office archives. Damn, you girls sure are efficient, eh? There are witch covens all around the universe. We can't afford to be traveling back and forth to the Moon Temple all the time. Hmm, makes sense. Whoa. And it's official. You can now receive guests on your cute asteroid home. <laughs> this makes me happier than I can express. <laughs> you deserve this. I'm just happy to ease your pain. Thank you so much. I'm just doing my job. Do you want me to let your coven know? Mm, just let Jasmine and Dahlia know for now. I'm not ready to go public yet. It's been 200 years. I understand. I'll send a falcon to each of them. 
thinks again. Well, I should be going now. It's been a pleasure to meet you, and thanks for the reading. Even if it was so ominous. Take care. Let me know if there's any trouble. Bye! Well. Noise.